Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Leyland Trucks here in Lancashire in the UK. So what am I doing here, guys, you're thinking? Well, I've just had an amazing factory tour all around the production line, watching the XF being built. We've got the CF and the LF. All these trucks are being assembled here on the production line in Leyland Trucks. And the Leyland name was named after the town of Leyland which has a population of around 40,000. So uh, there are 1,600 people assembling trucks here in the factory. The factory is the size of 13 football fields. So it's huge. But I can't show you any of the production line, guys. Sadly, I can't bring the camera in there. I can only just show you what's behind me. But uh, I've just got a few trucks to show you here and then we'll be making our way over to Daff, Lancashire, a huge dealership there to take a test drive in one of these DAFs. So let me show you this one first, guys. This DAF XF is going to Ireland. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Okay, I'm just going to start off with this brand new XF Super Space Cab. Belong to Michael and Maria Gavin from Ireland. So NANDC.ie. They will be taking delivery soon of this truck. It's got 430 horsepower. So plenty of space in the Super Space Cab. And I'm just going to quickly walk around and give you a look inside. He's got the aluminium wheels as well on the 4x2 tag axle. And the LED lights there at the rear. And the full air deflector kit at the back. So yeah, this truck was assembled in this factory. Uh, it's not often I get to say that <laughs> uh, in videos, but there you have it. The guys are busy assembling these trucks. So we just have the one fuel tank on the left hand side and your exhaust box there of course and your air tanks. But yeah, it does look very well in the gold paint. That is a nice colour. But uh, let's just have a look here inside the cab. And we have the three steps of course leading up into the cab. We still do have the engine tunnel there. Uh, maybe that will be gone on the replacement for the DAF XF at some point. But uh, there you have the red seat belts. Nice leather finish on the seats and also on the steering wheel. And we have the wood finish on the dashboard. So uh, I won't be starting it up, I'm not allowed. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, we have the DAF layout there. Plenty of storage compartments here on the dashboard. And of course, you have your pull out. Uh, table there as well, but uh, yeah, so you guys have probably seen the video I done of the DAF XF in the past But uh, yeah, they do have plenty of space Inside in the cab here Lockers above the windscreen and of course your bunk above there as well And the big sunroof too <laughs> But uh, yeah, quite nice The leather finish and it's also on the doors as well but uh, yeah, we're just going to hop out here. I just want to show you some more trucks that they have on display. But uh, as I said, it was very interesting walking around the production line here. It is fantastic seeing all this. He doesn't want to be on camera, that guy. But anyway, let's move on to the CF here with 450 horsepower, uh, 4x2. But, uh, We've got the two fuel tanks on this one here. So well, we got 430 litres on this one. But yeah, your two fuel tanks on the CF. So let me just check and see, is this one open? Uh, yeah, it's open. <laughs> okay. And we have the two steps going into the CF. So of course you have the big engine tunnel there. And similar seat design there to the XF. And we have the bunk there. So, of course, these are a lower cab to the XF. But uh, maybe I can shoot a video on these one day. We'll see. Maybe I can get out in one today. I'm not sure exactly what trucks I'll be getting out in when we head over to Lancashire. And we have the silver finish all around the dashboard on the CF here. And this is an automatic gearbox as well. The Traxxon gearbox. Okay. We will now move on to... Uh, we have another XF there, Super Space Cab. Uh, nice blue finish on that. Quite nice as well. That is the 
six by two and that is the mid lift so you can see the mid lift there but this this is very interesting this truck this truck was built here in this factory in 1990 and it was to go to Hong Kong for delivery it was destined for Hong Kong but whatever happened the order was cancelled or I'm not sure exactly what happened but then it went to the Irish Army in uh, 1993 and served um, on the Irish Army for 22 years before then being acquired by Daff Lancashire who done a full restoration on the truck and uh, here it is today gracing the floor of the Leyland factory so we have a nice piece of history here uh, fascinating to see but the work the restoration work is incredible on the uh, on the DAF I really like these these are kind of a classic now the 3300 ATI and of course there was the 3600 as well but uh, let's just hop inside here and give you guys a reminder of how they <laughs> how they used to look uh, it's just pristine condition okay let's hop inside got the old accelerator and brake pedal and look at the gear stick <laughs> the length of it but uh yeah this is how they used to look back in the 90s before eventually being replaced by the 95 DAF but uh yeah the dashboard all squared off and the old dash display <laughs> this will bring back a lot of memories for you guys that used to drive these old trucks yeah, but when you think guys used to do long haul in these trucks you have your lockers there at the back wall and up above the windscreen as well and the sunroof yeah, you would be doing long haul in these trucks back in the day but uh, the technology has moved on so much with these trucks now but uh, this one has been long left behind but it's still alive and well here in the factory looking fabulous so well done well done to them on that the 3300 and of course this would have been the original livery that they would have been launched in so uh i think that's fantastic i i love that now uh the uh, lancashire daff with their uh 3300 so yeah that's a piece of history and I'm just going to swing over here. So this is the LF. Now these cabs are built in Dijon in France in the Renault factory. So as a lot of you would know that Renault, DAF and Volvo, they kind of share this cab with all the various pieces changed, of course. So that is the LF DAF um, built in Dijon in France. Very nice window there at the side so you can have better visibility doing your town deliveries so just your chassis and cab here now they do build bodies for the LF here in the factory uh, the pack car bodies so you can specify to get a body built here in this factory if you wish on the LF but that's how it looks here um, I need to head in to oh I just need to show you this as well <laughs> how could I go away without showing you this the old fire engine and uh, this is from 1939 the Leyland fire engine now of course this factory was built in 1979 that's when the first sod had turned and uh, yeah so it's been going ever since and they take on agency workers as well if production starts getting very busy they take on agency workers and some of those agency workers have got full-time jobs as well they have uh, eventually got full-time jobs some of them but yeah that is your fire engine there from 1939 um, let me just double check uh, yeah it's got a 29.4 horsepower engine 4.7 liters six-cylinder petrol engine in this fire engine and it's great they have all the engines here the px5 the px7 uh, the MX engine and of course the MX-13 so you can find that in the XF and the CF as well depending on your specification 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to head into the guys now. We are going to make our way over to Daff in Lancashire and see what they're going to give us for a test drive because I don't know yet myself. <laughs> okay, we're just about to leave Leyland Trucks here. We've all been sitting around here just talking about YouTube and trucking and how trucking videos are going to go in the future on YouTube. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've had a very nice tea and coffee. The hospitality has been fantastic here. And I just want to show you this board here. Look, uh, it just gives you some of the history of Leyland and all the different years and the manufacturers of trucks. 1980 Leyland Road Train and the 2016 LF and the XF from 2016. And just giving you some of the history. And I'm just going to walk out here to the reception area. This is the reception area of Leyland Trucks here. And <laughs> a couple of camera shy people. And we have Kaylee here at the reception. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> and they've been very good as well. They've given us a goodie bag with some goodies in there. So really appreciate that. Um, I can't show you anything behind that door. But what I can show you is a quick shot of the model of the whole production line that they have outside here. Absolutely fantastic model. Just giving you an idea of the size of this factory and all the assembly lines. And they did put in a new spray booth uh, back in 2005 at the cost of 12 million to spray all the chassis of the trucks and all the robots spraying all the chassis. But yeah, fantastic, the tour of the factory. Okay, I'll say goodbye to Kaylee, and we are going to head off to Daff, Lancashire and see what's happening over there. So let's go, guys. And these are where the trucks are all parked when they come off the production line. So we've got the LF. We've got, that's a Euro 5 CF there as well. So they do build Euro 5 trucks. Euro 5 specification trucks here in the factory. Another LF there. <laughs> Yeah, I really liked it today now, walking around this factory. It's the size of 13 football pitches, this factory, guys. You can see all the cabs here. These are all the cabs that are assembled in Belgium and then come over here to Leyland Trucks in Lancashire. All the cabs just sitting down there on the ground, waiting to go into the production line. Okay guys, we have made it to DAF Lancashire. So this is one of the biggest independent DAF dealerships in the whole of the UK. And when you look around and see all the trucks, you can understand why. There's just hundreds of DAF trucks here. Look at all these XFs belong to Kinship Logistics here, all 480, 480 horsepower XFs, all super space cabs. And uh, they have the brand new PDI center here. So all the trucks will be given their pre-delivery inspection inside this brand new garage. But uh, just have a look. Uh, and it extends all the way around here, look. All the FedEx trucks here. And uh, this is the truck we'll be having a quick spin in. This is the 90th edition DAF XF Superspace. Oh, with 530 horsepower, okay? So we'll be hopping into that, just having a quick spin around. <laughs> Okay guys, we're just getting ready to head out on the drive, but this is an, a new feature on the 90th edition. That sign lights up at night, if you can see it there. Very nice, 102. So yeah, very similar interior to the one that we looked at, at uh, Leyland Trucks. Very similar for the uh, DAF XF that is finding its way to Ireland. Oh, we have the silver finish all around the dashboard on this one. So we had the wood look finish on the XF, the gold XF at Leyland Trucks. And we have the fridge and storage underneath the bunk. And at the back wall there, a nice silver finish. And uh, this is the man keeping an eye on everyone. Wow. <laughs> okay. Welcome aboard. 
Yeah, okay, so a couple of the guys here are just hopping out, uh, having a drive in the XF 530 horses, and soon enough it'll be my turn to have a spin in this. Okay, I am now joined by Harvey King. Now, Harvey is working here at Lancashire DAF. So uh, I told you guys already that this is one of the biggest DAF dealerships in the UK. And you can see for yourself, <laughs> there's just so many DAF trucks here. So Harvey, how many trucks are you selling here every year? Uh, we, we deliver about one and a half thousand trucks a year from this site to our, <laughs> de our customers throughout the UK. One so, and a half thousand yes, guys yes. coming out of here. It's a busy, busy site, yes. It's just incredible. Uh, we're very lucky. We're two miles from the Leyland factory, and uh, you know we do a lot of work yeah. with the, the factory with uh, with the new vehicles. So off we go in yeah. the 530 horsepower. There's all the guys. <laughs> XF. So Harvey, you were telling me that this is on an air ride front suspension. Yeah, this is this is a 90th anniversary vehicle, number 102 of the 250 production run. But this is one of only two vehicles that's unique in the UK with it being a tag axle FTR wheelbase. So we've ordered two vehicles and we've had them specially built. Um, they're unique to, uh, to our business. 530 horsepower, tag axle with front air suspension. So this is vehicle is riding on full air suspension, 530 horsepower. Comes with a, um, an Intada engine brake as well, so we have um, about 300 newton meters of braking on each stage of the uh, the engine brake, right. and we'll try that as we we travel uh, down the motorway shortly. So we're just going to travel around the industrial estate first, just to get used yeah. to the low speed handling. So if you turn left at the roundabout, please. Yeah. So we've had a bunch of other trucking YouTubers down here driving the truck, and. We had a very good discussion back at the Leyland factory. So we're not pulling any trailer today, we're just going for a quick spin in the tractor unit. Yes. And uh, we're losing light rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> we're very lucky, the yeah. truck itself's got full LED headlights as well, so DAF are one of the only manufacturers who can supply full LED headlights. Right. So, you know, certainly at night these are, these are very useful because they give you a, you know, a lot brighter, whiter light for driving. That's it, so we'll turn, uh, turn left down here. Uh, you'll notice the vehicle is very, very quiet. You know, yeah. the, um, when we get onto the motor in a moment, you know, the only thing you can hear at speed is the wind noise. Yeah. Um, it enjoys a new ZF Traxxon gearbox, which is 12 speed, but um, certainly a, a marked improvement on the old um, AS Tronic gearbox, as I think you'll see. A lot of people liken it now to the uh, the quality of the Volvo iShift gearbox. Yeah. Um, the big positive with this vehicle though is the, the cabin noise. It's a very, very quiet, uh, relaxing drive. I'm going to turn right at the end, please. Yeah, it changes, uh, it changes gear very smoothly. Yes. Yeah. You know the aluminium wheels on these trucks? Yes. How much weight are you shaving on all of those aluminium wheels as opposed to steel rims? <sighs> it's not massive, probably about um, 150 kg something like okay, that in total not, in total yeah, yeah. The, the the reason we put the aluminium wheels on this truck is really for the aesthetics you know it just finishes the vehicle off uh, makes it look a lot uh, a lot smarter obviously we're going to uh, we're going to be showing this truck around the uk this this summer season so there'll be lots of people yeah. coming, to, coming <laughs> so to see it if you guys are in peterborough yeah. or edinburgh yeah or leyland or yes. anywhere you'll you'll see this truck you know it'll be around yeah I think so far it's done 41 kilometres, so it's uh, <laughs> it's very very new at the moment, which yes, is nice. Look, 41 kilometres, guys. <laughs> uh, brand new. Brand new, but, yeah, just out of the factory. Yeah, the colour scheme is very nice. And Harvey, is it only available in black? No, it's available in three colours. It's available in black, red, and the uh, the Jamaica blue. You know, the launch oh, colour, yes, the 2017 yes. model year yeah. truck. So it's available in those colours. But you know, we we think the uh, the black colour really sets off yeah. the. Uh, the logos and the uh, the badging work that comes with the vehicle. Mm. And I was just showing here. them the uh, the DAF sign on the step. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. that's unique to this uh, to this model as well. So turn and left. Harvey, any other interior features that differ from the other XFs? Well, it's got the uprated um, it's got the uprated interior which you can see here, and obviously it's also a logo mark. So you can see this is number one hundred two of a two hundred and fifty vehicle run. 
and it's got the uprated um, leather seats, uprated extra comfort mattress and all the fit and finish inside the uh, the cabin to go with the truck. It's also got the roof um, air conditioning pod as well as climate control, radio, CD, uh, navigation, um, so really everything a driver could uh, could want. And Harvey, the air conditioning pods, Yeah. people really only specify them for hot countries, is yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think just with this specification they've really gone to town and made sure they've, uh, they've covered all the bases for the operators, so it's uh, you know, it's not something we'd normally specify in a UK truck, but um, I think it's a nice touch for anybody who's going to be taking this vehicle abroad or using it in summer. You know, it's particularly important. We'll just stay in this lane. Oh, okay. That is the lane departure warning. That's correct. That's working. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So we just run up to speed down here. You'll notice yeah. the engine revs. You know, it'll be revving at about 1,050 RPM at full speed. So it's designed to operate at a very low rev range in top gear. But you can hear now, there's very little noise in the cabin, it's all wind noise. Yeah. Very, very quiet. Yeah, I, I did drive the 480 horsepower DAF XF already, I've done a video on that, and as you were saying, Harvey, at takeover, they are very silent. Yes, yes. It's lovely in the kit, you know, it is a nice environment to drive in. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just go over this crest now. i just ask you to try the uh, the engine brakes. So just right. click down that stalk on the left, just one click. And just see how, the, uh, how effective that is. Yeah, well it's very effective with no trailer. <laughs> <laughs> You're only using the first stage there, imagine <laughs> it using the, the lot, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, but, you uh, wouldn't have to use your brakes at all. No. Look, I'm not using my brakes. You can try another stage if you want to, but you'll find, find it also pushes the gearbox, so the gearbox is changing down as well. I'm going to turn left and back down the hill. Yeah, the steering wheel has a very nice feel, and I love that armrest, nice, thick, comfortable armrest. An awful lot of trucks, the, the armrest is hard. This is nice and comfortable. People who've driven this truck already, the big positive is the front air suspension, which again is something yeah. that we've specified specifically on this truck. It just makes a massive difference to the ride quality of the vehicle and the way that it corners and handles. And Harvey, do you know how much extra the air About ride suspension? Two thousand pounds, but it is a special right. option. It's not something that we can order straight from the factory. We've got to do what we call a pre-order validation. So this is why this truck's quite unique because there's, there's, there's been a tag axle and having front air suspension. We've spent a lot of time making sure we get the uh, the specification absolutely right. You know, like the real test is putting a trailer. Yes, so yes, yeah, we yeah. We don't have yeah. one today. No, no, but, unfortunately. But yeah, you can really feel the comfort. It, I mean, uh, Harvey, I'm of the opinion. <sighs> Anybody buying a truck, especially if you're an owner driver, yeah. you really have to get an air ride front suspension. Definitely, definitely. It's just, you know, for the money that's, yeah. you know, if you're going to live in the, and work in this truck for a number of years, it's uh, it's money well spent, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Of, co of course, an awful lot of the, the big fleet companies, they wouldn't opt for it because no. it's an extra 2,000. No. Um, but for an owner driver, it's a definite must. I mean, I would pick air ride front suspension over the aluminium wheels. Yes. Yes. Out. Yes. It's um, you know, it's 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 been you know we deliver a lot of low deck tractor units and they come with front air as as standard, so we do experience it. But it's very nice to see it in a in a you know in a in a three axle XF tractor unit like this one. It just just really finishes the product, which is good anyway. But I think we've just found the the absolute icing on the cake with this option. Yeah. So yeah, we've made it back here now to Daff Lancashire. But um, yeah, I can't get over that figure, Harvey. One thousand five hundred on average trucks yes. coming out of here. It's a big place. Look at all the <laughs> trucks in there. Look, yeah, it's a big, big place. And Harvey, once you have this PDI centre opened, will you be taking in like? Everyone can come in here and get their truck PDI. Well, it, it, it's specifically for our for our customers. You know, the idea is we, you know, at certain times of the year, as you can see now, we're very yeah. busy with PDIs, and it just allows us to handle volumes of vehicles very, very quickly. I'm just going to give the air horn a hoot, Harvey. Okay, has to be done. Yeah, that sounds like a proper air horn. Now, <laughs> <laughs> nice tone to it. Definitely, uh -huh. definitely. But yeah, well, I'm just going to park up beside the uh, the Kinship Logistics XF. Okay. 
and we can just have a look at the two trucks together. <laughs> but I really enjoyed that Harvey. And uh, if anyone wants to purchase a DAF, contact Harvey King. Well, contact us at Lancashire DAF. At Lancashire DAF. <laughs> Harvey will look after you. He might give you a 10% discount if you mention my name. Steady on. <laughs> Steady on. <laughs> That's a joke, guys, by the way. Okay, let's uh, we'll turn off our lights here. Okay. But uh, yeah, that was quite an enjoyable drive in the 90th edition DAF XF Super Space Cab. Oh, I forgot to show you the the sign there lit up at night as well that looks nice nice touch yeah so as harvey said 250 of these are being built and this is the 102nd one to come off the line so uh quite nice isn't it the uh tag axle there parked next to the kingship xfs so yeah i really enjoyed my day here today visiting the leyland trucks factory and then here at lancaster daff i really enjoyed it i had a fantastic day and a huge thanks to daff for having us here today i really enjoyed it thoroughly thoroughly did but guys say goodbye <laughs> there are the guys there that joined us today on the tour okay that's it guys i'd like to say thank you all very much for watching and i'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video so until then take care guys cheers these trucks being built so we have the XF, we've got the... Oh, it's belonged to... Yeah. Okay, I'm joined by Harvey King. He is the owner of Lancashire Daft. He is a multi-millionaire. <laughs>